We start in 1913 at Cole's 22nd birthday party, and then we move rapidly in two hours all the way up to just before his 70th birthday party. And so there's bits and pieces of the, the shows that he has written through that time span, um, a little bit about his life, a little of the history, but most importantly, we meet his friends and his friends that he had his whole life. Um, and, and really the show goes from party to party to party because that sort of exemplified who Cole, Cole Porter was. Of course there's always music at the party and Cole is always the life of the party. Love to go into any room, any place, sit down, start playing the piano and singing of course his own songs and he had a song for every occasion. Cole hung out with a pretty famous group of, uh, of celebrities. Um, Monty Woolley was a great actor, a great stage actor. Then Kaufman and Hart, uh, both prolific uh, playwriters. Had a Hopper, who was a Hollywood reporter and a busybody. Uh, Elsa Maxwell was a dear friend of Cole Porter's and she was a socialite and was known for throwing be the best parties in town. Dorothy Parker was a famous writer who wrote for the New Yorker magazine and, and other publications and she was a good friend of the Porter's. Ada Bricktop Smith um, was an African-American woman who owned a jazz club and actually several jazz clubs. One of them happened to be in Paris in the 1930s, which is amazing that there was a, an African-American female business owner with multiple locations in the 1930s. I mean, so you, that sort of tells you what her character was like. Ethel Merman, that's right. Yeah, and Ethel was, was really um, one of Cole Porter's muses as he, I mean, he wrote songs for her um, and used her in many, many of his shows. I always think that Cole Porter's operating on a, on a dual level here. You've got the beauty of the songs that if you weren't paying attention to the words, you'd still say that's a very pretty song. But then when you listen to the words, he's got so much wit and double meanings and rhyme scheme. Cole Porter is definitely one of those composers that can write a song that can get into your head uh, and stay there. I think the audience will um, remember some of these songs. I mean, it's, it's hard not to have ever heard a Cole Porter song. And I really just want them to leave feeling like they've been to a really good party. Red Hot and Coal opens March 2nd and runs for three weekends. Friday and Saturday evening performances are at 7.30 and Sunday afternoon matinees begin at 2.30. A special Thursday, March 8th, 7.30 performance has been added. For ticket information, you can call our box office at 423-7529 or you can purchase tickets through our website, www.lafayettecivic.org.